There is one road in all of Japan that is named after a symbol that represents peace here in Hiroshima. Welcome to the Peace Boulevard. Peace Boulevard is 100 meters wide, and this is one of 24 roads that were planned across all of Japan right after the war, and this one here in Hiroshima was one of the few that was actually constructed. Peace Road has a lot of cool spots like this that you can hang out at, and we're gonna go ahead and check out some of these along our journey in the video today. This lantern here is a copy of one of the lanterns in the inner sanctum of the Kasuga Shrine. You can see the lions and dragons on this statue and it really is a nice piece of art. Here we are at the Praying Hands Monument. This monument was erected on August 4th, 1960 by members of the Hiroshima City Medical Association to console the souls of doctors, nurses, and other health professionals who died on duty or as a result of radiation exposure from the atomic bomb. When the atomic bomb was dropped on the city of Hiroshima, the number of health professionals in the city was about 2,400. Of the total, about 90% were said to be exposed to radiation. During World War II, health professionals were prohibited from evacuating the city by the government. This monument is an abstract work of hands expressing love and relief. The folded hands represent prayers for the souls of the victims and the strong desire for world peace. If you know Hiroshima, the Peace Road is not exactly the southern tip of the city, but a long time ago, it was. And this shrine here, Shirakami Shrine, which Kami and Shira means white paper or white god. So paper or god, they used to use the water that came all the way up to this area here, and they'd put a white burning piece of paper as a safety marker on the reef. Imagine that, all of this water here coming up to this shrine and how beautiful it must have been. Welcome to the Peace Bridge here just south of the Peace Park in Hiroshima. The handrail design of this bridge here was designed by American sculptor Isamu Noguchi and the bridge was completed in March of 1952. The design and the names of the bridge handrails here were chosen to represent reconstruction and departing. And of course, right along Peace Road is the Peace Park right here to our north side. And we have a full video all about Peace Park so if you want to check that out, we'll put the link in the description. Along the Peace Boulevard, there are tons of places to sit and relax or to take the kids and enjoy some of these playgrounds that they offer. The west side of Peace Road is definitely a more residential area. So you're not going to see quite as many businesses, but you're going to see a lot of apartments, a lot of convenience stores, and a lot of places just to relax. There are three street trains that cross Peace Road, but here on the west side, the street train runs along the road and heads toward the beautiful area of Miyajima for a very economical price. And we made it to the end of this 3.6 kilometer road, Peace Boulevard, and we got the Nishi Hiroshima station there behind us. 
Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. We really appreciate your views. And speaking of bridges here, we are the bridge to helping foreigners here finding apartments in Hiroshima with our multilingual support. We would love to help you find an apartment for rent or if you're looking to buy. So go ahead and hit us up in the information in the description. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this piece of Hiroshima on Peace Boulevard. <laughs> And we will see you in the next video. Take care.